This is a demo recording of InfoBlox Network Insight integration with Cisco ACI. This is coming with the Network Insight release 8.2. Uh, the integration, uh, similar, similarly to uh, how we use discovery of traditional network devices, as you can see on the top of the screen, uh, we're now gathering data from Cisco ACI also. In this first release, we'll just be focusing on discovery, not uh, making changes. And this is supported both for uh, NetMRI 7.2 and Network Insight uh, 8.2. But in addition to the traditional objects that we are gathering, you can also see here that we're gathering uh, tenant information, bridge domain, uh, application profile, EPG, and host. These are, these are items, at least EPG, a bridge domain and um, tenant that are specific to uh, to uh, ACI. So these are additional attributes that you're going to see in, in IPAM that are discovered. And we're pulling these right, right out of the APIC controller. We're not going out to the nodes themselves to gather this information like we would typically do in a traditional environment. So when you configure this and you're using um, uh, NIOS, uh, you go into the grid and under discovery, uh, you would choose a, a particular probe uh, or standalone system and go to uh, edit the member discovery properties. And there's a new option here for discover APIC configuration now that you're going to see. And you can configure uh, multiple connections for multiple APICs. Uh, in, in this case, um, when you uh, add, you're going to be specifying items like um, the IP address of the APIC uh, controller, uh, which protocol to use to connect, which network view, uh, your credentials along with your certificate if you're using HTTPS, which more than likely you will. Um, and so uh, those are things you're going to see. Now when discovery occurs, when you have Network Insight, you have the new uh, a, a, an additional devices tab uh, in the screen. Uh, so if you have Network Insight today, you'll be used to seeing the fact that there are switches, routers, firewalls in this. But now you're going to see uh, an item for the APIC controllers and also for the leaf and spine devices uh, with a device type of either SDN control or SDN element. You can see we're also gathering uh, model, vendor, device version, chassis serial numbers, that sort of thing. If you drill into one of those nodes, in this case we've drilled into a leaf node, uh, you can see that we are gathering the things we typically gather. These are all the interfaces, including admin status, operational status, uh, VLAN, that sort of thing. Uh, we're displaying or gathering the uh, networks or subnets on the node. We're gathering all of the IP addresses. Uh, we're gathering um, assets. Uh, assets are uh, the end hosts that are attached. So that's one of the most important things that Network Insight is doing here is not just gathering the state of, uh, of the APIC, uh, of the ACI environment, but also the attached end hosts uh, and associating them with interfaces as well as some other things. And then we're getting, as far as inventory goes, components like um, Ethernet um, uh, interfaces, uh, fan trays, um, supervisor module, power supplies, that sort of thing. Uh, the way we map the, this into, uh, into IPAM objects is this way. Uh, so you can see we've introduced some, some new concepts here. Uh, the fabric nodes, leaf and spine, will come in as individual uh, devices uh, in Network Insight. Uh, APIC controller is its own device. Um, you can then um, uh, also have uh, the tenants uh, come in um, as, as an attribute. Um, VRFs, uh, you can group the VRFs into to network views. Um, you have uh, bridge domains uh, with uh, multiple bridge domains that can be in a tenant. You can have EPGs with multiple EPGs uh, being in a bridge domain. Uh, and then of course you're getting a subnet and end hosts also. So, uh, so it was not just discovery in a traditional way. We are we're adding uh, some SDN elements to this as well. So if we go and take a look at the uh, the uh, data management, uh, the IPAM section of the tool, these are the networks, and uh, you can see here now that there are some uh, additional fields here uh, for tenant and bridge domain. These are not extensible attributes. These are actual fields, uh, and so here you, were, you can see the, the uh, mapping of tenants and bridge domains to those uh, individual uh, networks or subnets. Um, if you drill into the subnet, uh, again, additional fields have been added here. Uh, these are the individual IP addresses, so you would see 
Uh, for instance, um, one of these, an IP address may represent an end host that's attached to an interface. So in addition to knowing which interface where uh, an end host is attached to, we're showing the data of the tenant, the bridge domain, and the EPG um, in that case. So um, thanks for, uh, for viewing this uh, recording. That, again, is the, uh, the Network Insight uh, integration with uh, Cisco uh, ACI. Be sure to check out our other demo recordings of InfoBlock Cisco integrations.